The 70-metre-long semi-rigid bridge has been months in the making, with a specialist company, Infraestructuras de Montaña, involved in its creation. A lot of the work has been done off-site, with numerous challenges faced by the team. There are many that um, perceive the project as being, as being the construction phase. The reality is that there are a number of phases before then, the, the feasibility elements, the, the concept, the design, and the amount of time that goes into that is more than the actual construction element. And if you don't f um, plan your projects well, then it could lead to delays, then there's costs and things get complicated. So the designing of, of this project was perhaps the most complicated element, but then as you rightly say, the logistics of working in the upper rock are incredible. You, we've got also different periods whereby it is very busy. So again, we, we're seeing this activity before the tourist season kicks in. But also even the, the, the manufacturing of these items, we're talking of elements which are um, supplied also by um, um, specialist factories, even the, the, cable, the, the cables themselves. These are elements which um, cannot just be taken off a drawing. There is an element of tolerance which um, one would need to check on site. So it was a question of having all the foundations, having them clarified, um, perfected, and let's say to w within a very small margin of error, and only then can we then send for what are these, these elements which then get um, fixed on site. With a 50 metre drop, maybe not for the faint-hearted, but certainly another way to enjoy what the Upper Rock has to offer. Those behind the project say plenty of thought has been given to safety concerns, but how exactly has this been addressed? Safety comes first. As you know, I'm a firm believer on, on heritage. I, I love to work also with uh, ministers of tourism and the environment, um, but safety is of paramount concern. And here we have over-specified, I believe, many of the items um, which, which provide that safety barrier. Again, even though from a safety point of view, the 1.10 um, balustrade is a requirement. We've taken this to a 1.5. Um, also, in terms of the anchoring elements, they are also more than what would normally be required. Um, so we have spared no expense when it comes to safety. The bridge and surrounding areas are part of the Upper Rock's £3 million redevelopment, with the government confident this will add to the already improved product. First and foremost, it's here for everybody to enjoy and it's just another feature of the Upper Rock. Sometimes I think we get so bogged down in our day-to-day -day lives that we forget how beautiful Gibraltar is. So this will hopefully give people an incentive to come up and remind us what Gibraltar has to offer. And of course anything that we do for Gibraltar we can then uh, capitalise on that and, and make it available to, to tourists. Remember that a lot of the tourists that we have to Gibraltar are repeat tourists. So this just adds another feature for people to come to see. It's something new, it's something exciting, it's something very unique. I think it's beautiful and I think it's a fantastic addition to our product. The natural environment has also been considered with different breeding sites respected throughout. This proves that the Upper Rock can be used for people's enjoyment and for nature. This is something that we, people enjoy uh, using, seeing, uh, admiring the views, but it doesn't have any negative impact on the natural history, so it's a wonderful asset for the Upper Rock. But the works have not focused exclusively on the bridge. The area of Royal Anglung Way has been redeveloped entirely with the uncovering of Brook Battery, which had previously been used as a dumping site. Other new sites and paths have also been created. The Anglian Way site and the batteries associated are just incredible. They had been used in, in the past as, as dumping areas. So uh, an awful amount of work has been carried out to expose what are military tunnels, um, batteries, um, bastions. So it's not just the suspension bridge that we have here. Uh, have here. Even though, yes, it is the, the, the cherry on the cake, um, just a walk along Anglian Way and experiencing these batteries is just um, breathtaking. Weather permitting, the project should be ready in around four weeks with a bridge expected to undergo snagging and other final touches before it's inaugurated.